Good morning. Today is going to be a beautiful day, and I have a reminder for anybody experiencing pain. It could be emotional pain. It could also be physical pain. For me, I've been having cramps related to my menstrual cycle, and I've also been practicing yoga for a while. And I did practice yesterday in the evening, and it was um, stretches or asanas that were held for four minutes each. One of them in particular was a stretch that was bringing up a lot of discomfort for me. Physically, it was something that I felt like I wasn't that good at, and it was painful. And mentally and emotionally, that was challenging for me. So all around, this pose was bringing up a lot of discomfort in my body and the rest of me because everything is connected. And I just practiced breathing through it. And being there with the discomfort. Later in the night, I begin my period. And I struggle with cramps a little bit. They're not the most intense like some people. But for me, it's uncomfortable. And... I tend to squirm when I'm in my bed and I have cramps, as if squirming and moving will help me to run away from it or make the pain stop. And I had the thought as I was laying in bed experiencing this, maybe I should breathe through it. So I lie still, with deep breaths, and was present with the pain and just leaned into that sensation and experiencing it. And it actually diminishes the pain as I perceive it. It felt okay and tolerable once I chose to be there with it and not try to avoid it, or stop it, or fight it, but know that my body is working, and having a process, and I'm present, and it's okay. Many things are uncomfortable, and it's okay. That said, if you've never tried yoga before, and you're interested be it for physical health or healing, I encourage you to try it. And I think that the the motivation that draws me is to be connected to myself, to my body, to my environment, and yeah, the world around me. So I encourage you to try something like that. And When you experience pain, stop and breathe through it. Do it. (laughs) That's really good for your emotions and processing heavy ones. And it's really good for your body and feeling safe and connected. I had um, an episode episode is a dramatic word for it, but a situation recently where I began to process some trauma in a new way because of an experience I had, and it was an experience that caused me to have to face the reality of what happened and that it affects my world in some ways. And I don't feel like a victim. I feel like a powerful person 
who experienced hurt and is healing. But I sat with the pain of that and cried and cried and held myself and cried and cried and cried. And then I started laughing and laughing and laughing and I couldn't stop laughing. And it was like the joy of laughing because you're delighted and joyful. It was like healing laughter. And an, a deep acceptance of that happened. That happened. It was painful. I'm completely open to the truth that that was part of my experience. And I'm completely open to being completely well and whole and healed now. So when you breathe through the pain and stay present with the pain and don't run away, it does such good things for you. And that's what I wanted to speak about. So if you're watching this, breathe through the pain.